This is Dr. John Tantillo asking, did you know that innovation comes from unexpected places and being open to opportunity can lead you to a future you could never predict? That's what happened to one comedian in the Hollywood of the 1940s. You see, this man was from Vaudeville. He had worked in pictures, too. But he was a prodigy when it came to engineering. Not only did he keep the family car going, he had an elaborate home workshop. He simply loved to tinker. One day, though, he decided to get serious. He hired an RKO machinist and set up shop. And then a destitute man showed up and begged him to produce a new clamp he had designed. Our comedian instantly saw that the design was a breakthrough. It solved a major problem for airplanes. Leakage. Soon his company, Marman Products, was selling to the U.S. armed forces and employing hundreds of workers across two factories. The comedian was now an aerospace industrialist. The clamps were even adapted to hold the fat man and little boy atomic weapons dropped on Japan. By the end of the year, the company had 200 product lines and had branched out into motorcycles. He sold the company in 1955, but kept on innovating until the end of his life, even securing a patent for a wrist-worn heart monitor. Who was this man who turned a career in comedy into anything but a joke? None other than Zeppo Marx, the youngest of the Marx brothers. And now you can say, yes, I know that.